to create a simple live search what do I mean by simple live search when I click or when I search let's say my name you will see the data from the database is getting fetched with the help of Ajax and I can see it on the table which you are seeing right now the same way if there is no data you will see zero result found this is what we are going to see in this video we are not going to focus on CSS and HTML but we are going to focus on Ajax jQuery PHP and MySQL okay let me show you what does the HTML looks like it simply has the navigation don't worry you'll get the source code in the description and followed by that we have to just look on one div which has the ID demo fine you can see this is the ID with result and here is a search bar and search bar has the ID search now it's time for the script we remove all the thing and start from scratch since I have used a CDN my jQuery will work fine document dot ready when the document is ready execute a function and this function will alert your document is ready let's see if I refresh and the document is loaded perfectly and we will be getting the alert message and that's what we got now I'm going to fetch the value from the input field since the input field has ID search and I'm going to get the value of the input field with the help of event key up when the key is up that means when I press something some keyboard some keywords on the keyboard it will execute a function alert you press key on input field don't worry about the spelling refresh it now if I type something or if I place click one keyword you will see you you pressed key on input field fine this is also working fine now what we need to do is we are going to get the value that value what we have clicked dollar from the input field with id search dot val and store it in a variable dollar need to search if you want you can alert and check dollar need to search now again if I refresh it now in this time whatever keyword I press you will get it in the alert fine once the document is loaded I'm going to click L so you got L that means our code is working fine now what we are going to do is we are going to pass whatever we have typed to the file called fetch.php and this fetch.php will give the will run the SQL code and find the exact match from the table using the SQL statement fine and we are going to send with the help of Ajax why Ajax because without page refresh we need this code to be sent to the server that's why we use Ajax dollar dot Ajax please 
keep an eye on the keyword and uh, the data should be sent to the URL this would be the name of the file fetch dot PHP which will run the SQL code and what we are going to send with the help of method the method will be post comma and the data would be need to search and you can type search keyword we are sending as this variable to the fetch.php and the data type data type as you can see it is simply text colon text finally once the data is sent to the server it is going to process the SQL statement and the SQL statement will be and the SQL statement will pass some value this value would be the result either the match is found or the match is not found this value we will get using success on success the data would be passed over the parameter dollar which I have shown on the ID result result dot HTML and the data the data would be coming from the page dot PHP would be the HTML elements simply the table fine everything seems working good now we need a simple condition if the need to search is blank then we don't want to perform Ajax if it is not blank that means if we have some text then we need to perform Ajax so we will be writing Ajax code inside the else and before writing Ajax we want the ID result to be cleared each time or else you will get the previous result appended now it's time for the fetch.php the value is passed from script to fetch.php let me remove all the code and start from scratch what you have to search you have to search for php mysql search data w3 school is the best resource i would prefer that now get into the link you have to get into the procedural section not the object oriented we are going to do the procedural part since it would be since it would be easy for us to understand scroll down a bit the first section would be object oriented and the second section would be procedural copy it and paste it in the fetch.php now as modify our fetch.php as per our requirement 
or as per our usage the server name would be localhost I'm using AMP and the username is root and the password is also root and the database name is text it is not text it is test before that I want you to show what database structure we have we have a database name called test and we have table called customer and this customer has four column the first one is the ID the second one is the name the third one is the phone the fourth one is simply address Before solving this error, I have already said we have four columns. We don't need this since this is the explanation part. We want all the data from the table customer. So star. Customer is the name of the table where name is the column name like this would be the syntax underscore post and the data we sent using Ajax is search keyword which we would be passing inside the post dot dot look into the syntax or else you will get into to the problem Now we have to use the search text inside the post. Once this is done, let's check whether we are creating the exact the column name is name and the last name is we will refresh last name with our column phone. Let's check not the PHP but the code if I type V yes it is working now you have to search bootstrap table because we want our tape our output to be in the table format We will create a empty variable. The empty variable will hold the HTML as the output, and this variable will store your HTML element, which we will be getting on the success of Ajax. We are looking for the code. Click on try it yourself. The reason for not writing code is it will take time and it may cause error, which will make our video to be more lengthy. Now just copy, we would be writing it. 
dollar output equal to we have we are going to concatenate inside the quotation mark we going to paste it copy it paste it and replace the double quotes with single quotes you have to initialize the output first with nothing once this is Arrange your output on a TR TD base since this is stable. The first one would be name, the second one would be phone TD. Close, then td open the same td will be closing td will be opening finally close the tr and close the td And yep, instead of echoing, store it inside the variable output dollar output. Don't forget to concatenate, or else you will get only the last result. Once the loop is ended, echo our variable. Fine. Now let's check. is home and the last one is address the name of the column for that error purpose I could not show you and this is the static one the first one is name the second one is phone the third one is city this is static that's why I'm writing city and this is the row name I have saved it to see my output. Let me zoom in a bit with the help of Control Plus. If I type my name, yep, it is working. Get the source code in the description. Thank you so much for listening.